Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to block spam emails on Microsoft Outlook. Now, spam emails are nothing new. They've been around for a long time. I get inundated by all types of emails, whether to be phishing emails or spam emails. Lately, I am getting this Google Forms um, email spam, and it's like every day, probably 30 a day, and they're all related to, uh, you know, uh, pornographic stuff. So go up to uh, the email that you want to block and then go to junk and you see block sender. That is the first thing you can do here. So click on the email you want to block. Go to junk email and block sender. You can see here it's already asking me the sender forms dot receipts dash no reply at Google dot com will be blocked. And that's basically that one dealt with. So next up, what I'm going to do here is show you another one which we can do is by going up the top, junk mail, and then junk mail email options. This will open up the junk mail email options window here. Inside here, you'll see you'll have a bunch of different things you can do. Choose the level of junk email protection you want. No automatic filtering. And then you've got low, which is move the most obvious junk mails to the junk mail folder. High, most junk mail email is caught, but some regular mail may be uh, caught as well so check your junk mail folder option so you can choose which one you want to use here um, just be careful because some of these are a bit more aggressive and it's possible that it could capture your good emails in with the junk mail occasionally so you need to check that if you've got it on the high setting uh, try the low setting first and see how you go you can see here disable links and other functionality in the phishing messages recommended and warn me about suspicious domain, uh, domain names in the email addresses recommended. And uh, see how you get on with that one. Um, if it's still not good enough, you can move up to the high setting. Uh, let me just show you some other things you can do here. Go back up to the junk section here and go junk email options again. This time we're going to go to blocked senders. Inside here, you'll see that the new forms dash receipts dash no reply at google.com has been added to the block senders list. So basically that is the uh, email that is blocking here. So you can also add other ones in, especially if there's loads of other ones that you want to block, you can add these in and it will block those. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, this is just the starting of blocking uh, spam emails because they are pretty sneaky the way to get through. So let's go and try something else as well. So go up to the rules section, and then you can see here, we can create a new rule. Inside create a new rule, we can go from Google Forms and add this inside here as well. And uh, you can see here, subject contains, you can add whatever subject contains in here. And also you can put down here where it says, move the item to a folder. So now we can move it to a folder you can select a folder of your choice maybe you want to make a new folder or you can leave it as junk email and then you can see here from google forms and now you've got a bunch of other options which you can use to uh, set up your preferences for your uh, rules that you want to set so also with specific words in there in the body in the message header and also in the recipient's address and the sender's address you can also tick those boxes and set up those words as well. So if it's profanity in the header or inside the body, you can set those up as well as you like here. So you can see them listed down here. This is going to apply the rule to the message when it arrives from Google Forms and move it to junk mail. Next, you can also set it up to stop processing more rules and also move it to a specific folder, which you can now set up yourself. And also you can delete it or permanently delete it. It depends on how you want to go with this one. Uh, delete it will just delete it. And then you can empty the trash out once in a while. Just make sure there's nothing in there. If you want to permanently delete it without going to the trash, you can leave it on permanently delete. But be careful because there's no way of getting this back once it's gone. And it may be uh, you might want to just vet it before you actually permanently delete. But if you're quite happy to permanently delete then just leave the tick in there. So that is those areas there. And again, you've got some other options on there. You can go through all these. I'm not going to go through these one by one. Now, are these any exceptions? So uh, you, you want to basically put any exceptions inside here. 
and you can put this as an exception say maybe for a certain word or certain thing you can do that or cc or whatever it is you want to set up inside here you can set this up you can go spend a bit more time and go through here but normally i'll just leave this as is for now and uh, go next and you can see here google forms and click finish so that's now done and uh, let's move on to the next section which we can do here so i'll just quickly show you here you can see we've got an anti-spam section on our antivirus and this because it's a paid version but inside the anti-spam area we've got filters that we can set up for our block list and we can go into the block list and literally block them from here now there's an area here let me just quickly show you here on the block list go to configure and you'll see a bunch of emails in here i don't care which people see these because these are all people that have been spamming me so they are going in here you'll see ones with all sorts of uh, halifax and stuff they're not real and you can set them up by email or domain and set this up to how you like and try to block these and uh, click ok and once that's done once you've got your ones added in there you can click close here also go rules manage rules and alerts inside here we can go back into here i just want to quickly show this bit here as well so you can see um, what to do here as well so inside this section we've got rules run rules now you can put a tick in google forms here and i can run a scan on my inbox this is going to basically apply to all the messages in here with google forms and move them to the junk email folder and delete them and that's what it's going to do and stop processing more rules so once it's done this you can include subfolders as well and you can run it now on your messages and it will basically move anything that's in your inbox over to there save you going through that one by one and moving them to your junk box especially if you've not set it up uh, yet and you've now just set it up you now run this uh, rule and it will automatically move those over to your junk mailbox and you can do this for other um, other emails that are sending nasty stuff to you every single day you can just set this up and set a rule up and you won't have to worry about it anymore and it will automatically just move them straight there so now that's done we've now moved those over we can close this off and we can click OK here. And inside the options, there's nothing inside there. So let's click OK. So I'm going to go back over here. You can see it's starting to uh, synchronize and move them all over into the junk mail uh, box. You can see there has been loads and loads and loads of these being sent. And it's just, they're mainly generating from Russia. But we're getting there and we're dealing with it so now we're going to go into our account information here and open up rules and alerts and create a new rule and you can see stay organized here we've now got a section in here which we can set up which move messages with specific words in them as well we can do that as well inside here we could have done that all in the other one as well but i'm just showing you different ways you can go about attacking uh, spam and junk email on your system so now move uh, messages with specific words in the subject to the folder you can see here with the specific words in the subject and you can click on that now and adjust it uh, to your needs down the bottom here there's also areas inside here which is down the bottom here which is in the body in the subject body message header and also re recipients address and also senders address in here which we can adjust here and you can see what it's going to do basically this rule step one and step two so what we'll do here is we'll get this set up and then i'll adjust it all to my needs because i'm going to add a load of words in here which i keep getting every single day which are to do with profanity words really you know words like sex and stuff like that i want to block all those words inside here so what i can do is once i've got this set to how i like it here you can come down here click on this area and you can now click on uh, specify the words or phrases to each search you want to add so what i'm going to do here is add these in you can see i've added one in there and i've added a bunch of other ones i'm going to blur them out because they're quite nasty words that i didn't want to spread on youtube so i've blurred them out and again i can select a folder that i want to put them into i can put it into the junk folder and click ok and now i can specify another area where i want to drop them maybe into rude emails or something like that i can put them in there and it will uh, go into that uh, directory that I want to put them into. So now that's all set, we've got this all set up. What I can do now is go to uh, the next step in the process. Let's go next. 
and you can see here stop processing more rules and also move to the folder and also we've got this delete section here which you can add on and i can permanently delete these as well so you can set yours up to how you like it whether you want to permanently delete them delete them or any other options you see in there now this is uh, once this is set up any words nasty words that i put in that list are going to be deleted and moved to the junk mail or rude email section and i know they're normally spam so i can run this rule on the messages already in my inbox and that means any messages in my inbox that have those nasty words that i've put in there it's going to remove them uh, from there and move them to the junk email box now you can imagine what those words are they're just sexual words that they use in particular and basically it's going to search for all that stuff and move all that nasty content to my junk mail and it will automatically be deleted and that's exactly how i want this set up because i'm getting bombarded with it so now you should see my rules are set up inside here i've got two lots of rules and uh, again when we go into here you can now see that all of those emails have been removed they were in the junk email box there was loads of them in there hundreds of them and they've now all been removed out of my inbox and deleted I will keep you updated on this situation just in case it doesn't work and we'll have to try some other things. But hopefully that will see the end of them sending me spam email. They will be sent there and deleted. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now.